very good evening. Thank you for joining us here watching the news from Bahrain Television. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa offered his deepest condolences at Wajaba Palace in Doha to the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, on the demise of the Qatari Emir, the father Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Thani. His Majesty also offered condolences to the sons of the deceased and to Al Thani family, asking to Almighty God to rest the deceased soul in eternal peace. His Majesty the King lauded the accomplishments of the deceased and his contribution in serving his country, the Arab and Islamic nations, as well as his contributions in founding the GCC Council and its march. The Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani, and his father, Sheikh Hamad bin Khalifa, both expressed their thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his brotherly and noble feelings, which reflect the strong brotherly relations linking the two countries and their people. They wished His Majesty the King a Abundant health and happiness. His Majesty the King had earlier arrived at Doha Airport to offer his condolences on the demise of the Qatari Emir the father, Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Thani. His Majesty was received at the airport by the Qatari Premier, Minister of Interior, Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser bin Khalifa Al Thani. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa left Bahrain destined to the state of Qatar to offer his condolences to the Emir of Qatar and Al Thani family on the demise of the Qatari Emir the father. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa returned home this evening after a visit to the state of Qatar to offer his condolences to the Emir of Qatar and Al Thani family on the demise of the Qatari Emir, the father. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the Republic of India's Union Minister for Home Affairs, Sri Rajnath Singh, where he conveyed to His Majesty the greetings of the President of India, Pranab Mukherjee, and India's Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, and their wishes of further progress and prosperity to the Kingdom of Bahrain and its people. His Majesty commended the strong bilateral relations, affirming this long-established friendship had always been based on mutual respect, coordination, and cooperation in all fields. His Majesty asked the Minister to convey his greetings and wishes of further success and prosperity to the Indian President, Prime Minister and people. His Majesty lauded the positive outcomes of the first Bahraini Indian Security Committee meeting held today in the Kingdom, which would help develop security cooperation and coordination and exchange of expertise. He affirmed Bahrain's keenness on developing its ties with India in all fields, including politics, economy, commerce, investment, security and culture in order to 
intended to benefit both countries, peoples and meet their expectations. His Majesty the King lauded the role and contributions of the Indian community in the march towards development in all fields. He reviewed regional and international developments and affairs of mutual interest. He noted the international role of India in maintaining peace and reinforcing security and stability. India's Union Minister for Home Affairs expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty's role in enhancing the bilateral relations and for his support to the Indian community in the kingdom, affirming his country's keenness on strengthening the ties between the two friendly countries. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the Emir of Qatar, His Highness Sheikh Tamim bin Hamad Al Thani. His Royal Highness Prime Minister expressed his deepest condolences on the demise of Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Thani, the father, asking the Almighty God to rest the deceased soul in peace. His Royal Highness Prime Minister also sent cables of condolences to the Deputy Emir Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Thani and to the Premier and Minister of Interior Sheikh Abdullah bin Nasser bin Khalifa Al Thani. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met today at Gadaibiyah Palace, the Republic of India's Union Minister for Home Affairs, Shri Rajnath Singh. The Minister of Interior, Lieutenant General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness highlighted the importance of building strong bilateral Indian Bahraini Indian ties, which reflect the depth of cultural links that have existed between both countries for centuries. He noted that exchange visits across all levels have played a pivotal role in strengthening the country's relationship. He welcomed the Indian Home Affairs Minister to the Kingdom and expressed his hope for a successful first meeting of the Bahrain Indian Security Committee, which will be attended by Minister Singh and will cover a range of important security issues, including combating terrorism and human trafficking. The Crown Prince stressed the vital importance of unifying efforts to combat terrorism in order to address the security challenges created by regional developments. He added, that terrorism and extremist beliefs go against all basic human principles and that the commitment of both countries to addressing human trafficking is based on protecting human dignity from all forms of exploitation. His Royal Highness also emphasized that both countries' commitment to continue activating strategic agreements which will reinforce cooperation across a range of sectors and that the Bahraini Indian Security Committee will contribute to the country's broader collaborative efforts. He noted that the committee meeting would see the activation of a security agreement signed between Bahrain and India last December. The Indian Home Affairs Minister expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and stressed his hopes for a successful visit to the Kingdom. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired today the Cabinet meeting at Gadaibiya Palace. The Cabinet congratulated His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa upon receiving the Royal Habsburg Golden Star Award from the Royal Habsburg family and from the Hollebron City Council, praising the Prime Minister's achievements in the fields of maintaining peace, human and charitable activities that are internationally recognized. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince then encourage ministries and government bodies to establish the culture of quality and excellence and motivate workers in government sectors, including the education sector, because the purpose of the government is to obtain the citizens' satisfaction of these services extended to them. His Royal Highness briefed the cabinet of the field visit he recently made to Amna bin Wahab Elementary School that won the Education Quality Award during the government form 2016 after attaining excellence in the reports of the National Authority for Qualifications and Education Quality Assurance for three consecutive terms. The Crown Prince noted the importance of the Joint Gulf Security Drill and its role in developing the mechanisms of the Gulf Security Cooperation and increasing coordination and facilitating effective dealing with security challenges facing the region. In that frame, His Royal Highness welcomed the convening of the Arabic Gulf Security Drill 1 in the Kingdom of Bahrain in light of the report presented by the Minister of Interior regarding the preparations of the Kingdom to host this important Gulf security meeting. The Crown Prince then directed the concerned ministry to provide services for ports in the kingdom according to the National Plan for Ports and Line of the Structural Strategic Plan. The Cabinet expressed their deepest condolences to the state of Qatar for the passing of the former Emir of Qatar, Sheikh Khalifa bin Hamad Al Thani, and remembered the late King's contributions in the development march in his country and his efforts in the area.
His Royal Highness the Crown Prince directed the Cabinet to reinforce the government's ability to create future plans based on the analysis of programs that utilize economic indicators. The Crown Prince directed the Cabinet to tighten censorship and reinforce mechanisms to fight pollution in the kingdom's regional waters. The Cabinet approved the registration of a number of non Bahraini owned ships based on marine law principles. The Cabinet approved the Memorandum of Understanding between the Kingdom's Ministry of Transportation and Communication and the Sultanate of Oman's Ministry of Transportation and Communication regarding the mutual recognition of certificates. The Cabinet signed the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs for, to prepare the required legal instruments for ratification of the establishment of the Bahraini Russian Government's Committee for Commercial, Economic, Scientific and Technological Cooperation. The Cabinet signed the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs to prepare the required legal instruments for ratification of the state of the Judiciary Economic Authority of Gulf Corporation Council countries. The Cabinet reviewed four proposals that first addressing the actuarial deficit for insurance funds, second regarding temporary civil medical centers, third regarding appointing nurses in public schools, and the fourth completing Umm al Hassam, Jafer, and Ghareifa port facilities. The Cabinet approved the government's responses to these proposals recommended by the Ministerial Committee of legal affairs. Deputy Premier Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa received today at his office the Republic of India's Union Minister for Home Affairs, Shri Rajnath Singh, to discuss means of bilateral cooperation and coordination in various security fields, particularly in light of the agreements signed between the two countries in this regard. The meeting reviewed the course of the two countries' friendship and means of enhancing it for the benefit of both sides. The Deputy Premier noted the two countries' rich history, affirming the Kingdom's keenness on development developing cooperation with the Republic of India, which enjoys a powerful regional and international status. He also noted the importance of the visit of the Indian Minister of Home Affairs in increasing joint coordination, particularly in preventing crime and terrorism. The representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Works and Youth Affairs, the Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa over the first class order of the Golden Fleece conferred by the Habsburg Royal Family and Hollabrunn City Council in Austria upon His Royal Highness the Premier in recognition of his efforts in promoting humanitarian and philanthropic activities, international peace and good relations, social justice and equality regardless of status, ethnicity, gender or ideology. His Highness praised His Royal Highness's role in supporting different initiatives that aim to enhance peace and security and his keenness to exert efforts that allow the nations to move forward and maintain sustainable development. He added that this honoring affirms His Royal Highness's efforts in supporting peace and coexistence. The Minister of Interior, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, met today the Republic of India's Union Minister for Home Affairs, Rajnath Singh, in the presence of a number of senior officials of the Ministry of Interior. The two sides held talks in which the Interior Minister gave a speech welcoming the Indian Home Affairs Minister and stating the special status India holds for Bahrainis being the largest community in the kingdom. The Interior Minister invited the Indian Minister to visit the temples and community centers in the kingdom, which emphasizes its cultural diversity and its acceptance in the Bahraini community. He also noted that the Bahraini and Indian communities lived together for many generations, which calls for enhancing relations between the two governments. Sheikh Rashid Al Khalifa commended the convening of the first meeting of the Bahraini Indian Security Committee in the context of the combating terrorism agreement signed by the two countries to enhance security cooperation. For his part, the Indian minister gave a speech in which he thanked the interior minister, hailing the historic relations between the two countries. He also stated the role of exchanging visits and enhancing bilateral ties, noting the readiness of his country to provide support and cooperation in all fields. The two sides agreed that the visit of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to India in February 2014 laid a strong foundation for building a solid partnership between the two countries and contributed in signing important agreements. They also agreed on their firm stances against terrorism, stating their rejection of connecting terrorist acts to any 
particular race, religion or culture. The two sides established a joint steering committee, held its first meeting during the visit and agreed on holding regular meetings for the committee as contained in the agreement. They also agreed on supporting and encouraging participation in training courses and seminars organized by the two countries for security forces officials in order to exchange experiences regarding preventing and combating crimes. The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Sheikh Khalid bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, received at his office this morning the Indian Home Affairs Minister, Rajnath Singh, who is currently on a visit to the kingdom. The Foreign Minister hailed the historic bilateral relations between both countries and the growth experienced in multiple areas. He also affirmed Bahrain's keenness of reinforcing methods of joint cooperation and development, as well as expanding fields of collaboration that would benefit both countries. Sheikh Khalid also cited the ongoing coordination between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the Republic of India in regards to regional and international issues and the joint pursuit towards cementing peace and security. He also praised the role of the Indian community and their contribution to the kingdom's development. For his part, India's interior minister expressed his pride in the strong relationship between the two countries, which is based on a long history of cooperation and commended the kingdom's atmosphere of tolerance and coexistence. The Attorney General Dr. Ali bin Fadl al Bouadin and his British counterpart, the Director of Public Prosecutions, Alison Saunders, signed a memorandum of understanding regulating, regulating the exchange of judicial assistance and expertise. Mr. Bainin stated that the MOU is an implementation of agreements and international treaties which include methods of legal cooperation that ensure crime prevention, in particular acts of terrorism, corruption, human trafficking, weapons and artillery smuggling. These measures will adhere to international human rights principles in accordance with the legislations in both countries and would ultimately counter crime by prosecuting its elements.